Good morning church, it is my privilege and honour to be with you. Uh, my name is Ethan and I am part of the Audacious Youth Team here in Manchester Central Campus. Wherever you are, wherever you're from, um, thank you for joining me um, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whenever you're watching this, wherever it's finding you, um, it's great to have you with us. Um, why don't you grab a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, warm beverage, cold beverage, whatever you're feeling at this moment, um, grab your Bibles and sit with me um, and turn to 1 Corinthians 12 verses 25 to 27 um, and we'll read it together. So that there should be no division in the body but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honoured, every part rejoices with it. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is part of it. And you see, I've been in church, or Dacia's church actually, for nearly 13 years. Um, that's a long time. Um, I would have been seven when I moved uh, up to Manchester with my family. Um, so, you know... I've been here for a little while, um, but from the age of 12, I was diving into joining teams. I just felt this passion, this love um, for being in church, for building church, and just for kind of helping things work. Um, and, you know, at that young age, I, I didn't really understand why I was doing it. Um, it was just kind of what everyone did. And it was, I loved it. Week in, week out, I was serving on teams, helping build church. And then when I got to about 14, 15, I kind of had this moment of like, why do I actually do this? Like, not that I don't want to or don't love it, but like, why? And I think why is a brilliant question to ask. So if you don't get anything else today, just ask why about things in life. Go, why do I do this? Because if you know why you believe things and know why you do things, it will really help you. Um, anyway, that's a little lecture for you if you want it. You don't have to take that one, okay? I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, it wasn't until about 40, 50, where I kind of asked this question, why? And it kind of took me to this passage um, in 1 Corinthians 12, um, seven years ago. And still to this day, it's kind of the reason why. Um, you, you see, Paul in his letter to the um, church in Corinth is talking about us being the body of Christ. Kind of talking about us being hands and feet and, you know, being the Jesus into people's lives. Um, and how we act and how we do things really impacts people's lives. And, it, you know, Paul talks about every single person having a part to play. In the body of Christ. Because you see for me being in church and being a part of church. Um, doesn't feel like I can just come. Um, turn up and kind of spectate. And I think sometimes especially when we're going through busy seasons in life. And you know exams are happening or work's getting crazy. Or we've had a promotion or you know maybe you've had a new child. Or something's happened in your life that's suddenly caused it to become busy. Um, that we kind of just come to church and spectate a little bit. And I really believe that Paul is encouraging us um, to become a part of it. You see, in James um, 2, it talks about our faith um, calls us to have action, that, that faith without action is dead. And I think it's important for us to constantly be thinking, OK, as a faith filled Christian, as a having faith in Jesus, um, it kind of requires me and calls me to have action. So I want to encourage you today. Why don't you join a team? And if you're on a team, why don't you find a friend who could join a team with you? Or why don't you look at some new teams and go, hey, what can I join? And I really believe that for you, joining a team is going to put you in community. It's going to put you in a place which you're ready to grow and be encouraged. And it's also going to be put you in a place where you can answer questions, ask questions and kind of find out those reasons why. And I'm, you know, really believing that for you today, um, you'll be encouraged and inspired to read more. I really encourage you to read the rest of 1 Corinthians verse 12. Um, it really talks about the uh, unity in church, unity in the body of Christ. Um, and I would just love for you to read that in your you know, own time today. Um, and I really believe that that's going to encourage you and help you um, help you grow today. But yeah, why not join a team? I'd love to see you on Sundays in the hosting team, response team. Creative team. There are so many teams across the life of church. Hundreds of volunteers week in, week out making things happen. And we would love for you to be a part of it. Um, and, you know, part of serving is part of our devotion to God and part of our worship. So why not serve today? I'm just going to quickly pray for you and then you can carry on the rest of your day. Yeah, dear God, we thank you for the brilliant, audacious church family. God, we thank you that you love each and every person. That each and every person has a part to play. 
um, has a thing to do um, in the community of believers, God. So we just pray for each and every person watching, God. Will they feel encouraged and inspired um, to join a team, um, really, so that they can be put in a position to be encouraged um, and to grow um, and to be challenged in their thinking, God. And we just pray today um, that each and every person has an amazing day, full of faith, full of joy, full of laughter, um, and full of places to be encouraged and be inspired. God, we thank you for your faithfulness to us, um, and we love you loads. Amen. Thanks for joining me this morning. Um, it's been my honour and privilege, and I'll see you at church on Sunday. See ya!